Local shelters are packed with pets looking for a good home. Some wind up here because their families can't afford to take care of them. That's where the Pet Project Midwest steps in. Families can get up to four months of assistance um, of pet food and uh, kitty litter uh, as, as they need it until they're back on their feet. Some people only need one month of help and other people after four months um, are still needing help. That help comes from volunteers who donate their time and supporters who supply the food to families free of charge. Every month it's a challenge keeping the shelves stocked. The pantry's in good shape this month, but when you're feeding and caring for hundreds of pets every day, supplies go fast. These bins at the local grocery store aren't just for people. You can drop off donated food for area pets. We're constantly in need of food and litter. Um, it's, every month it's kind of a struggle to get the shelves restocked to get it out for another month. This month, the state's only pet pantry is settling into its new headquarters in Des Moines. The group lost its lease when its former landlord decided to expand the business. The pet project scrambled to find a new place, and this one has more room, but it also costs more to rent. That means volunteers will need even more support, keeping the pantry's doors open. There's always going to be pets that end up in the shelter, but the ones that actually have people that love them and take care of them, if we can, we don't want that bond to be broken. We want. We want that pet in a safe, loving place, and that's our goal. In Des Moines, Janae Town, Channel 13 News.